Okay. Hello. I bet say. Hi. That was cameo from my mom that popped into our room. Mom to mom communication. <laughs> that was literally what that was. All right, let's see. What were we doing again? We were needing to obtain intel on Medjed. Nice. The following is a statement released by international hacker group Medjed. To the phantom thieves causing an uproar in Japan, do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. I can't forgive them. False justice, huh? Who do you th who do they think they are? This man is a convicted criminal, yet you want to save him? His guilt or innocence is for the courts to decide. My only concern is that he lives long enough to get there. Let's see. This ICU DVD. It's a story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. Wow. I like this guy. A person's life is valuable, no matter what they've done. Yep. No matter the circumstances, those doctors never gave up. Have you learned a thing or two about kindness from watching this drama? Mm -hmm. E. All right, we got some kindness. What? Tell me. Everyone's been talking about Medjed. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, do you? They're an international network of hacktivists. They target corporations doing shady business and cause chaos. The subway company's server thing? That was Metjed, trying to find out who caused the train accident. So, they're good guys? Ugh, no way. Some liken them to digital Robin Hoods. But they snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Good evening, X! How are you? Medjed? Those guys that claim to be modern-day Robin Hoods? They dare call themselves heroes after those attacks? Huh. They're fighting Medjed next? The Phantom Thieves are amazing! I don't want to hear about justice from some shady hackers. I don't care what happens, as long as it's interesting. Oh, our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. Same. Above average. That's a real dividing line. My allowance is safe for now. I finished a little higher than the average score. Yeah. It should set a good example for your friends. Hey. We are more charm. More suave. We were busy. It's not like I can focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? Don't get all quiet on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess it is my fault. Sorry, buddy. I can't lie to you. <laughs> Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep, I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. Mm. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. 
Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thief's world debut, no? You're thinking big, Mishima. Dude. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So, that was fruitless. Wonder if anyone else got any info. Yeah, we kind of didn't really learn anything new. Mishima was pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seemed as though she didn't know very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime, after all. I tried looking into them too, but I didn't come up with anything. There are really just no leads. Hmm, our opponent is truly elusive. No luck. Medjet, huh? <laughs> it seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. Unfortunate? We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. An emergency assembly! Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. How are we going to find Medjed? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still manage to elude arrest somehow. Kaneshiro was a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. Did we bite off more than we can chew? I'm not sure yet. Right. There's no knowing we're, who we're up against, unless, um, if we can't see the full picture. I can't read. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. That's probably why my exams are going to shit, too. You know those two are separate things. Right. Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Damn, you're in our text messages too. Clues on Medjet, huh? Who are you? I thought I thought that she was part of Medjet. But I'm starting to think maybe not. If we can't identify who it is, there's nothing we can do. Let's wait till they make a move. Am I actually getting stronger? I've been working really hard, but I haven't noticed any change. Would you mind hearing me out again? Okay, so this'll- this'll boost. Wanna talk today? More like I gotta unload all this crap off my chest. Why don't we go grab some ramen, you know? Shake, shake things up. Ooh. Hmm, okay, so we got choices, but, but... Is Maruki around? Maruki is not around. He was our priority. Makoto is there, though. And there's Ryuji right there. Um... So, okay. There's Makoto Ryuji on... We're not swab... Swab... Swab. We're not suave enough for, um... Our girl, Takemi. Let's go with Ryuji! Let's, let's, let's go to Ryuji. It's 
spend some time with our boy. It's kind of far, but the flavor's killer. Get pumped, dude. It's over in Oji Ogi Ogi Kubo. So let's grab a train over there. It's a new location. A quiet and convenient residential district famous for its ramen. Lip smacking good ramen. The deep flavor of old old style soy broth is worth the long wait in line. Alright. Ooh. I sure do wonder if this character will be important. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. I love the feeling of noodles sliding down my throat. Sweat dripping over my face. This shit's the best, man. Ramen is life. Light soup like this really gets your body going after a long run, you know? We used to come all the way out here after practice and... Uh, I guess that's all in the past. By the way, I've seen Nakaoka around a few times, but for some reason, it don't look like he's getting along with the others. Are you worried about him? Yeah, kinda. I've been thinking about what he said, how the whole track team was putting up with Kamoshida's shit, and how I effed it all up for them. I think he was right. They don't even got a club room anymore, so they've been storing all their stuff behind the gym. Ooh, I would love to get some ramen with you, X. You still need to take me to that fucking rotating sushi place. I I didn't forget. They can't use any school gear either, so they just run laps around the block for practice. Bet. We have free weekends now. <laughs> that means more outings together. There ain't really a place for outcasts like that. And I should know that better than anyone. It's good they're keeping their heads low now, though. I don't want them ending up like me. Mm. Comfort or relatability? Comfort. You're like, no, you're doing great. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, trying to fit in is a real pain in the ass. I mean, I never would have met you guys if I wasn't an outcast, right? So, uh, it's all good. <laughs> For real, though. Should I count that? I should count that. It's been a shit ton of fun. Hanging out with you guys is so freaking cool. My bond with Ryuji is stronger! <laughs> Rank 4. I just hope there's something I can do to help those track guys. No, it'd probably mess him up if I tried to butt in. Oh yeah, we still gotta find a new spot for our training. Eh, I'll think about it. No slacking off till then, okay? See ya. Later, dude. Summer break soon, right? Must be nice being a student. Are you relatable? <laughs> I'm looking at, like, my... Fucking interns and um, the kids at the studio. So I looked into Medjed. Did you find anything? As you know, Medjed is a god that appears in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? Its name apparently means the Smiter. It seems nobody is actually sure that Medjed is a real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. As unseen god, 
as an unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. He truly is an elusive being. Dude. Everything about his existence is shrouded in mystery. Wait. Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead in all depictions of him. Taking all of this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. Yeah, good, good research. That is exactly the type of research that an artist would do. <laughs> There's nothing to be impressed about. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed, it was. Should I look into it more? That's enough, thank you. <laughs> so polite. So we still don't have any tangible clues. Not Smiler, Smiter. It's a friendly thing. Ooh, okay. Bro, why does Akechi's text messages... Why are they always, like, fuckboy hitting you up type of vibe? Like, what are you doing right now? Oh, I don't know. Nothing. How about you? It's like, bro. <laughs> All kinds of chores. Ooh. I'll just add this. Is it a new one? You up? Exactly. It's the same vibe. Alright, let's keep your fingers crossed for something easier. Exchanged all around the world. Cur currency? Currency? Maybe? Oh, wait, let me... Oh, I think it is currency! Um, replaced the franc? It has... Dispenses cash. Is an ATM. A money holder wallet. I I have no idea what this is. Um but I'm pretty sure. Oh, the euro! Oh, you're right, you're right, you're so right. This isn't gonna give us any extra points, but it feels good to have it complete. The answer is currency. Originating from the Latin word currentia, um, flowing, this term applies specifically to money, no matter the medium, though it does not include checks or credit. Throughout history, currency has applied to a wide variety of items. Rocks, shells, <laughs> grain, livestock, feathers, salt, dried fish, wood, bamboo, even whale teeth. All right. I see. Nice. I got smarter. <laughs> also, hey, Niblick. Now we finally fucking upped our knowledge. All right. Listen, I'll take it. Knowledge for encyclopedic. Encyclo encyclopedic. Listen, the character is smart. I am not. <laughs> All right. I love that for us. The What's crossword going? made us smart. <laughs> Encycling pedaling. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we have so many places we could go. Alright. What do you do for me again? Allows you to request Kawakami to brew coffee or do laundry for you. Oh, that's actually really useful. But I, I feel so weird about this whole thing with the teacher, but this is actually kind of useful. 
All right, what does Akechi give us? Um, this won't be for another two. Begin with a low security level. I don't really mind the security level all that much, to be honest. Unknown? Ah. I really want to, like, get this. That just looks like it's going to be so fucking cool. I do- I do actually want the follow-up with, uh, Yusuke eventually. Chance to- uh, this is the most useful one! Alright, Akechi... Fine. Fine, your fuckboy message worked. I'll wait here for you then. <laughs> but the people wanted Kawakami! Listen, I could still go to Kawakami. I could still do it. Is that really what you guys want? You want the teacher? Oh, it won't deepen. I see. It won't deepen just yet. <laughs> so okay, maybe we will call Kawakami. <laughs> that was truly cringeworthy. <laughs> Thanks, Nibble. <laughs> also, how was um how was the volume on it? Was it okay or do I need to raise it more? This is Becky! Oh wait, it's you. You good? Okay, awesome. Thank you. It's summer, but don't lose focus. You're still in high school, so don't go out playing at night. Wait, is this considered playing at night? Or worse? Well, it's under my supervision, so it's fine. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for just 5,000 yen. It won't! It won't! get better anyway that's sad but listen you guys want kawakami you'll get kawakami fine <laughs> i'll get dropped off from the store then please clean up your room and wait for me heart yo honestly like i want to see if there's a better, more efficient way to, like, raise your stats with someone so that there won't be this wasted time of, like, deepening the bond without actually ranking up. If I do another playthrough, I'll probably look it up. She seems to be thankful. Thank you for using our service. Oh, we're dreaming of Kawakami. <laughs> the Booba Balls. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. Uh, ¿por qué no los dos? One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. Medjed? <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Oh? Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. Interesting. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. I feel like Igor is training me to steal the heart of a god or something. <laughs> that 
supposed to be what this is, right? It's a JRPG. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. Mood. To steal his heart. It's his it's dating sim. <laughs> I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? I think more entertained than inconvenienced. We're not really doing anything against anyone that doesn't deserve it. Yeah, entertained. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. I can't get a read on him, honestly. Like, I don't know whether or not to trust him or not. <laughs> There hasn't been any news on the Phantom Thieves versus Medjed showdown. Which of them will come out on top? T Roy, thank you for lurking. I mean, are you streaming right now? Oh, did you just wrap up? Yeah, I think you might have just finished. And I hope it went well. They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. If you ask me, Medjed causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon, but you gotta tell me. Who do you think will win? And then they don't tell you. <laughs> hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. I've gotten a lot of messages from an unknown account. Nice to meet you. I am the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjed, correct? I can give you information on them, if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts, just as I have yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? I mean, who is this? They said they were very polite. They said their name was Alibaba at the start. I could deny it, but I'm pretty sure, like, this, this reeks of the hacker girl, so I'm gonna think, like, okay, is this a prank? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Oh, it won't even let me send stuff back. You can't reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Ah, one-way text line. I can't read English. <laughs> Hang in there, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading the bottom right comments. Medjed, what is happening to this country? It'd be hilarious if the honor student fell off the podium. That's so mean. Is it over for the Phantom Thieves? Hacking? I have no idea what that's like, but it sounds scary. I think they were getting a little cocky. They got what was coming for them. Yeah, if I were Clam, man. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? 
¿Qué es Phantom Thief? Phantom Thief. Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. Yeah, be careful what you guys put on the internet. The internet is forever. That's possible? And even in your socials and your messages, they're forever. Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. <laughs> then, is this person Mejed? Oh, that's how they pronounce it. Mejed? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. And we don't really have any other leads. Be a criminal? I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? If anyone uses Twitter, so be careful. Yeah. I also use Twitter. Mostly to promote um, stream stuff and connect with other streamers. And follow a bunch of really cool artists. Oh. What's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Pearly, absolutely not. <laughs> is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. Oh boy! All right, the store's all yours. A letter? We have late breaking news on Medjet, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. 
Medjid also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjid as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! In English? Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Alright, fine. It's complete bullshit. This is bullshit. Let's talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. Is it a calling card, but for us? A calling card? It is! Oh my god! Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? Wait, does it actually say stop saving people? Like, don't bullshit me, X. Is that what it actually says? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? It was from Persona 4. Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh god, how did I forget about that? Dude, Takoyaki... Oh, I'm thinking about Epcot again. Epcot ball. <laughs> and for Epcot, like, Food and Wine Festival, every country has, like, their own little stand for food. And the Japan um, Pavilion had Takoyaki last year. I really fucking hope that they have Takoyaki again this year. Oh, so good. Oh, true, true. Yeah, Roran still hasn't finished P4, so let's, let's try not to spoil much for them. Daiku check! <laughs> Epcot ball! <laughs> Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. I need to be a billionaire so I can rent out the parks for myself. Oh. I don't think even being a billionaire would get them to do that. I'm invited? Oh. I feel so honored. <laughs> Mega Man Battle Network Esports is back, baby! <laughs> nice. I've really started turning the heat- I've really started turning the heat up. Huh, on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the Just Phantom Thieves and the global organization MedJet is here. Reactions have been great, too. Everyone is really engaged. 
So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kaneshiro case. Those on the other side say Medjed are hackers of justice. But there's nothing really resembling justice in what they do. Someday, I want the whole site to be filled with pro thieves comments. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when that day finally arrives. He can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. <laughs> Aw, yay. Every time Mishima calls, Mishima, can you shut up for one day? <laughs> Oh, that's our that's our PR guy. You gotta listen to our PR guy. Mm. First that Alibaba character, and now a blank calling card. What the hell's going on? Well, let's uh watch ICU. <laughs> You try to save both the mother and the baby, you lose them both. Or I could save them both. I can do this. You need to trust me. There's a story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. That's incredible. Wow, this guy does doesn't have the word surrender in his dictionary, does he? Oh. So we finished watching ICU, huh? Maybe you learned a thing or two about kindness. Okay. Yeah, these parody movies are amazing. I wish for um, the scenes with the TV that they would have like the subtitles for it um, on the screen somewhere. Like I, I, I wish those were there. Oh. We're not on- we're not on the train. Usually we're right over there. Why haven't the Phantom Thieves said anything? Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's unsettling not knowing what they're going to do to us. They're declaring their victory? What does that mean? I really wish they'd stop that. Yo, Yoshizawa! <sighs> Every day is so hot. I empty my water bottle so fast. By the way, summer break is coming up. Could I ask you what your plans are, senpai? Um, what about you? You have your competitions, so, okay. right? I'll be mostly doing training with the gymnastics team. And if I have free time, I'll be doing some self-training. Oh, would you like to join me, senpai? Whenever you're available would be fine. Oh, the train is here. Let's get going, then. Don't say senpai challenge. <laughs> Should we make a senpai counter for her? Hey, your phone's buzzing. Did Alibaba message you? Uh, it's just Ryuji. Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? It's not Ryuji this time. <laughs> Can't fool me, game! Good day. Let's be polite. Good day to you too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card. So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? I'm in class. 
Huh, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Steal from who? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. I need a name. A name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. Related to Sojiro Sakura? Related? I hope not. Oh god, I hope not. <laughs> if you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Damn it. So he threatened you, then just took off? <laughs> Look at Morgana's bug eyes, like, in the desk. Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. Oh, that was smart of the game to do that. Um, when they had, like, the whole group go into the, um, LeBlanc, that they had Sojiro, like, reintroduce himself, so we got the full name in a more recent timeline. That, that's smart of the game to do that. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Yusuke's having, like, a whole crisis over there. Look at him! <laughs> Look at him! He's just like... My guy, I can't believe we're doing this. Futaba <laughs> Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? We don't actually know? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. <laughs> you know, that that is a little fucked up that I don't know anything about his family life. <laughs> Jojo, how are you, my dear? Yes, we're up to 93 for reals. <laughs> Hello, my dear. How's your day going? How are you? I'm sure no one in Japan has that same name. <laughs> well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart, without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster, just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Oh, that's true. What if he does find out? Hmm? What's up? 
Do we just- These are both so direct! Who's Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? The music stopped. And you just hear like the clicking of the, the clock. <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks yeah. like it's a hit. That was very direct. <laughs> that did not go the way I thought it would. Ugh. Mm. I just remembered. Clam, were you able to ask Boss about Futaba Sakura? He didn't want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm, Alibaba may be our only hope of defeating Medjed. I hope we could get some info, or I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of Boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both Boss and Clam. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Alan at the moon. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. I'm a shapeshifter! Nice. Alright. Our show managed to get a calling card left by, as it says here, the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. What? On it, they also claim that they will make their targets confess their sins. Mm. We've gotten pretty famous. I guess it's no surprise that we're in the public eye now. Oh, probably like one of our old ones. Hey. <sighs> Why can't I go out? I can't even call Kawakami! Hey. Alright, we can read about that. We can read about that. We can make a video game easy. Fishing ponds, enrich knowledge. Steal my- Oh, my guts! I do need stronger guts for EY. Ooh, Tokyo's aquariums. All right, let me. Okay, I finished the DVD. I finished the video game. I. How many lock picks do I have? Do I need more lock picks? I have two of those. I have six. I don't think I need more. So okay. Um, I think I've decided I'm going to read, but the question is which book to read. I think this. Oh, you've decided for me! <laughs> I mean, I do want to play Nocturne, I do want to play some of the Shin Megami Tensei games. But there's- there's other- there's other series that I want to- I, I want to play! <laughs> there's other things! <laughs> you don't actually want to play Nocturne? What if- what if I do? What if I want pain and suffering? <laughs> and the next moment we totally saw a ghost! Oh, why are you reading that? Whatever you do, just don't read it out loud, okay? Actually? Hey, hey. What do you guys think? You think that if you're reading something scary, would you get more scared just quietly reading the content or reading it or would reading it out loud make you feel a little bit better about it? Because I think for me, I would probably feel a little bit less scared if I read it out loud. But what do, what do you guys think? On hard mode? No! Jojo, we've talked about this! You 
consistently say how much harder it is, I'm gonna die multiple times. <laughs> I do still want to play it, but I don't know if I'm gonna do hard mode on my first time, okay? <laughs> thought about it that way. I think it would affect me the same way either. Oh, the same way either way. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Chaos route, Jesus. Alright, still got some pages left. But hopefully we will uh, gain some guts by the end of it. Yo. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Master, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. It's a snort for me. It was a. Uh, I can't even do it. How? Hold on. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. It's the snort for me. That's Tomorrow's wonderful. The the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. It's like a ugh, you know. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's like a. Oh, that's very phlegmy. Ah, oh, that was very phlegmy. <laughs> it's like a ugh. <laughs> if you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? Oh, you know that's fair. Asking neighbors, we could become the noise, the noisy. Wow, the nosy neighbor. That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. I wish it said homo rules. Why can't we date this boy? Atlas is a coward. I would date Ryuji. Ryuji would be my go-to for dateable candidates so far. I'm just saying, if everyone was open, if everyone was fair game, I would pick Ryuji. At least so far, I would definitely pick Ryuji. <laughs> I mean, look at him! Oh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. It's true. That is enough. Ryuji is enough. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district. And don't go to the beach after dark. Uh, I kind of have a job in the red light district at a bar. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Mm. Ryuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose. Let's head to Yongen and gather info around the neighborhood. Why don't we start with you, grumpy old man? Oh, I'm sorry, dazed old man! Futaba? Futaba, yes, I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. Ah, yes, that was the name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. <laughs> Let's ask some other people. A neighborhood housewife. Sakura-san's single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. Ah, did you want to listen in? Do you think the Phantom Thieves are a danger to society? Send us your opinions by email or fax. What's this rubbish about Phantom Thieves? They're not real. There's no way people like that are real. <laughs> I am not real. 
It's okay. My state would think I'm not real either. Do you know Futaba Sakura? Futaba? Hmm. We do get the occasional youngin coming and poking around, but I'm afraid I don't know them by name. Hmm. Futaba? No, no, I don't know who that could be. Let's ask some other people. Futaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? I'm a growing boy! <laughs> if it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What, you're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's Boss who eats a lot, then. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean, Kyle? Futaba? Who's that? I don't think I know anybody by that name. Uh, but wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they find out you're snooping on them, though? Hey. Delivery man. Utaba? Hmm, no, don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura-san's often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Alright, to the supermarket! Supermarket! This place is close to LeBlanc. So we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Utaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Come again. Damn. Hmm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. You again. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Futaba! Wakaba! Lots of buzz. Hatapapa! Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Okay, so, hold on, we got Utaba, Sakura, Wakaba? Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? Parental authority? Wait, do you have a, is Futaba your daughter? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. ABUSE! You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Okay. Was Sojiro involved in like a crime ring? And that's what Wakaba is about? And then his daughter with custody. Oh geez, okay, that's complicated. 
Hey, demo crab, thanks for paying your taxes. And stay out. That woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? Uh, there's a lot I want to ask, so let me just do the blanket statement. What was that? This doesn't involve you. Oh, but it does. <sighs> it came up twice now. I feel like it should. Let me meet Futaba. That's enough. Just behave yourself and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? Science, but spelled weird. I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Yeah, I'd like to not be homeless. Yo, how'd it go? You find out anything about Futaba Sakura? I've been wondering about that too. At the hideout, okay? Whoa! So you did learn something. Fine work. I knew we could count on you, Clamkun. Thank you. All right, let's all meet up tomorrow. I should write something. Damn. Yeah, it went great, Ryuji. Just great. Hey. Let's go ahead and read to improve our guts again. Yeah, the team is gassing me up, but I don't know if I have enough to like warrant them gassing me up like that, you know what I mean? There were words written on the blackboard at the abandoned school. For real? 94. So you finished reading Ghost Encounters. Uh, those stories are way too spooky for me. Don't talk to me about any of them, okay? You do seem a lot more dependable now. Our communications might be compromised. Also, the Phantom Thieves. Hey, did you find out about Futaba Sakura? <sighs> I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know. I mean, didn't they pick up our audio earlier, too? I mean, I guess the main characters don't know that. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah, Makoto, it was your sister. Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. Yeah, ring-a-ling, ding-a-bell. What's up? <laughs> ding-a-ling, ring-a-bell. <laughs> it's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, <laughs> Utaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? <laughs> I do word great. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? No, absolutely I not. I'd like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? Hmm. It is. I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. 
Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Tell me her keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Uh, let's meet somewhere. Meet? With me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? It's a ring-a-ding move. <laughs> Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait! I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore, either. We're not done. Ah! Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? Yeah, big-ass question mark. Sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba, either. Yeah, right? Like, okay, problem solved. Summer vacation. Let's go. <laughs> well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjet? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep, and now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. Makoto said that Ryuji has a point! I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown. Did you sell it? We got 150,000 yen out of it. Excellent. 100,000 is enough to pay Kawakami. <laughs> That's awesome. We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah. Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel too. God, I'm so early in the game. I'm like 60 hours in. <laughs> God, I love this. I am so happy we're playing this. And I'm happy that you guys are here with me to kind of <laughs> go through it. This game is great. If you don't simp for your friends, what the fuck are you even doing? Exactly. Hell yes, Demo Crab. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. Why would you fill yourself on ginger before eating sushi? Don't you... Don't you want more sushi? Is it because you're poor? <laughs> You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? Listen! <laughs> I I don't like ginger anyway. <laughs> you can't just ask people why they're poor. <laughs> I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Yeah, sushi's great, Let's actually. Decide. Not just fine, sushi's great. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Yeah, probably. It's probably 200 hours, if not more for me, because we just 
we just end up talking and doing tangents and I'm reading all the lines out loud because that's how I retain information. I hope that doesn't bother you guys, by the way, that I'm like reading all the lines out loud when they're not voice acted. It's like, if I was just to read them quietly, I will not remember any of it. I promise you that I will not remember. I wonder if all that Medjed business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Huh, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us. <laughs> Theatrically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now, though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. <laughs> <laughs> that is all we can do. I... Yes, but also something's not right. And this is just my anxiety talking. Something's not right. The emphasis you use with the... I use different emphasis? Hell yeah! Doing shit subconsciously. <laughs> I think that just kind of goes to show with um how... How widely different the main cast is from each other that you kind of have the inflections and you're thinking about them subconsciously. <laughs> Damn, Niblick, I'm sorry. Emphasis on the wrong syllable. God. <laughs> Pearly, <laughs> my fucking band director. When I was in college, good old Mr. B, um, he, I'm not saying the full name, but X, you know exactly who I'm talking about, but the right emphasis on, on the right syllable, or syllable, um, dude would talk about it all the time. Forgot how squirrely the story is in P5, sending you through a maze of story and only giving you tiny chunks at a time. Yeah, but th I love that though. Like, honestly... It's not as cryptic as Hollow Knight, um, but I love when stories give you those little chunks and have you piece it together yourself because it, it allows for so much theorizing and like being right or wrong or like just coming up with whole hypotheticals. And I really fucking love that about like games like this. Stewie, hey, what's up? How are you? I was thinking that too. I can't really put it into words though. Hmm, Yusuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who though. Yusuke. <laughs> You would love the storytelling of the Soulsborne games. I would play it if I could, Niblick! <laughs> God, I really want to figure out how to fucking fix my motion sickness issue. Cause that would open up so many games. Alright, well I'm glad to hear that you're doing alright. I am pretty okay overall. Some bullshit at work, but you know, it do be like that. All the stuffy repeats B-isms, because we know, yeah. Um, by the time you beat the game, you're like, oh my god, everything makes so much sense, why they did this or that. Aw, oh, I'm looking forward to it. And that's part of why I also, like, continually ask people not to, like, spoil things, because it's like, I, wa I want to find out, I want to find out organically, and let the game take me through it. You watch a playthrough, um, but it's not the same as exploring and reading the descriptions yourself. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just not the same. Oh, it's open! This is so nice! Wait. I did hear it. Okay, it's like really, really soft. But you can, you can hear the bell 
from the the window chime. That's so nice. That's that's such a nice little thing. Yeah, we we finished Kaneshiro. Um, we've been getting messages from someone named Alibaba, which I suspect is the hacker girl. We don't know their name yet. Um, they told us to change Futaba Sakura's heart, um, but then called the deal off, and we are, like, two days before sushi, apparently, if, if that rings any bells for where we're at. For us uh, that know the story and see a thing or a place and be like, oh my god, it's happening! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great feeling. That's part of why I love watching, like, first-time playthroughs of a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I can't- I can't go anywhere! Hey. Under house arrest. Well, we can finish this. Yeah, Sui's talking about the hacker girl. Uh, don't backdoor until a series of the plot twists or anything. <laughs> oh, X was, I see. <laughs> it's really funny to see how heated people get over who's like the best character. Everyone has their own opinions, and I think that just is a good sign for how strong the character writing is for these games. In your search for the truth, ask your own questions and then find your own answers. You gotta reach out to the truth, you know? <laughs> is this philosophy? I'm not sure if I like this writer. Seems a bit condescending. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Any random comments in here, we must commit a murder. <laughs> you know, you say that, Seth, but it's happened before. Like, part of why I'm, I'm a little traumatized about it is because I played Chrono Trigger um, for the first time on stream, and this random ass person came in to the stream, like, first time in, in, in the chat. Um, and just fucking spoils something huge for me. Something that happens literally like 15 minutes after the point where we just were when they spoiled it. And I was like, bro, this could have been way more impactful if you just waited 15 minutes. And like ever since then, it's just been like, mmm, please no spoil, please don't. Yeah, I, I can see how these games would be super easy to spoil. I wonder if these old philosophers had many friends. And they're always talking to people, but I don't know. And at any rate, reading about different ways of thinking must have made you smarter. <sighs> well, I guess we should just go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know. Yeah, people just don't think. And you know, that that's part of it is that People are excited, and they want to help, and they want to be excited with you. You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? And you know, people- it doesn't come from a malicious place most of the time. I'm not- I'm not saying that people don't spoil things maliciously, because I'm sure there are people that do, and that's fucked up, but... For the most part, the people that we've interacted with here they don't do it maliciously, like, they they just want to share the excitement with you. Um, so, I, I get it. Yeah, exactly, X, exactly. The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? Can you backseat me? Let me think about it. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you! You're just a bottom! <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe. But don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. Look at me. You may think you see who I really am, but you'll never know me. Every day it's as if I play a part. <laughs> now I see if I wear a mask, I can fool the world, but I cannot fool my heart. Who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? When will my reflection show who I am inside? <laughs> That's a, an amazing copy pasta, actually. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Oh! Wait. Mental down. You know that meme where it's like the dude with the whiteboard and all the strings? I'm putting together pieces. I'm putting together pieces. Nothing at all. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally, Chencha Raptor. <laughs> I have my notes. <laughs> I have. This is my fourth page of notes. Oh my god, Mellow! No, no, he's- he's- he's not as chaotic as Mellow. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. Any means necessary? Sounds like cop language. Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. <laughs> well then, to our victory. I think he's definitely having fun with this. Okay. Time for sushi! This place is in Ginza, right? Do we take the usual train from Shibuya? How many locations? Jesus. Famous for luxury shopping, its property values are the highest in all of Japan. The forefront of trends, aside from the shops, cafes are aplenty. If you're tired from shopping, get tea. All right. Ooh. May enjoy eating expensive sushi to hang out with you here. Have a good night. You heading now? Yeah. 
Good night, Pirelli, if you are. The founder is out of this world. That texture. I'm trying. I don't see any prices listed here. Ah, it's this kind of restaurant. <laughs> it's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. Yeah, good night, Pearly. So good. <laughs> hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Eat your horses and don't talk. <laughs> Bye, Pearly. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? Yeah, you already asked me this question once. I thought it was pretty clear. I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? Yeah, no way. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no-good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? No way! That that's a little bit of a stretch, Ryuji. He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. I'm here for it though. Ryuji, conspiracy theories. I'm here for it. How foolish. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Oh, they did uh, Voices in Danganronpa too? That's awesome. That's another game I really want to play. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> God damn it, Ryuji! I love you, but God damn it! God damn it, Ryuji. Uh, um, the fan Fantastic! This sushi is delicious! Y yeah! The fish is so fresh! Hm. Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish? Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. <laughs> My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Oh, he sees us hanging around together now. Also, are we carrying sushi home like that? Like, just... Dean? Like, that? that's cute. Akechi-kun. You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? We do go to the same school. Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. Oh god, it's his first time meeting Yusuke too. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. Oh. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. No, you're not. Yusuke, don't fall for it. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? 95! Die! 
English again. Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. Wow, Ryuji. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Yeah, want to join us? Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Suspicious. <laughs> ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm. Oh yeah, you know, just hypothetically. All right, so thinking about this, right? My gut says retaliate, but also like what would really happen if we just ignored them and just continue to do our own thing and take down and change people's hearts but then they're making a bad rap for us no we we gotta retaliate mm. so you share the majority's opinion sorry to disappoint but we're just normal high school kids that sounds like something the fan of thieves would say if anything we want to hear what you gotta say mr detective my profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Ryuji's a bad thing! That would be really funny! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, I feel like I've poked fun at him before. I'm gonna say <laughs> Ryuji's a phantom thief. Me? You're siding with him? I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my <laughs> expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. All right, yeah. <laughs> His ass is kind of growing on me a little bit. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Probably. Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but it may be best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Majed. Oh yeah, super sus with the pancakes. Because he was definitely around that corner. He was 100% around that corner when Ryuji fucking talked his mouth off. Was like, oh, we're the Phantom Thieves, hey, a cup of cool. Oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. 
Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. August! As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? 96. Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Um, sounds bad. Um, sounds bad. In other words, <laughs> if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? <laughs> Listen, okay, it was it was the gulp. It was the gulp for me. Sounds bad. Like just listen. Li Sounds bad. <laughs> it, it was sorry. <laughs> A little sussy. Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to LeBlanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. How? Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again... If we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Yeah, what do you mean? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? 97. So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! Oh, it was Morgana's! No complaining. Yeah, Morgan, it's it's for the sake of the mission. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Yeah, he might think we're dating or something. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here, too. Oh, the gate is unlocked. <laughs> Yusuke is the person in the D&D &D party that just checks if the door is open. Dude, you can't go open in other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Isn't LeBlanc like 
literally down the street. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. Probably. <laughs> My apologies, boss. Not breaking and entering. It's just entering now. Hello, sir. That is a really good thunder sound. He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. Great vegetables. Jesus. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. It was on. How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please. Can we just go? No, no, no. On. I'm prepared for this. I have read a book about ghost encounters. What are you freaking out for? <laughs> I'm not freaking out. Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Sorry, um, can I hold your hand? Are you scared of the dark? That is not my hand, ma'am. I can sense someone's presence. Yusuke! <laughs> Who is it? Who's there? That is two observations. <laughs> Hello? Alibaba! Futaba! Hey! Come on! Where are you? You've been here the whole time? The whole time? The whole time? You're a hacker, right? Just show yourself! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please save me, sister! Ah! Are you okay, Futaba? Crap, he's home! Who the hell are you? Don't move! You hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis! Somebody please save me! <laughs> you? What are you doing in my house? We brought sushi for you? You're... Oh, uh, good, good evening, sir. Uh, we... Uh, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? <laughs> well, we're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? Uh-huh. You kids are here too? <laughs> I'm glad they uh, came out. We brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me, there's something we'd like to ask. Huh? You want to ask me? Yeah. There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um... Is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so 
We'd like to apologize if at all possible. Oh hell yeah, Demo Crab! I'm glad! Dude, I fucking love Aper's emotes so much. Well, uh, that's Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. She'll hear us anyway. She has, like, she bugged our phones. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. I would hope so. That's kind of how timelines work. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Yeah, alone? There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Oh, so it's not like your biological daughter. He just kind of... Adopted? Adopted daughter? Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> But one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. She just left? Yeah, she, she left? Yes. She oh. committed suicide. Oh. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Oh. Oh. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. Yeah, she she left left. It's got to be devastating for a kid. Yeah. So. Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. And that's when I found out. Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? She was a kid. That part she's never told me. When you're a kid, you just try to rationalize it, and when you can't find anything else, you blame yourself. I wanted to know what led her to believing that, but I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared, even when nothing was happening. She'd say things like, I hear voices, and Mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? Yeah, Takemi's like right down the road. I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is... 
well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Uh, yeah. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Nope. She's part of us now. I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. Damn, all right. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Oh shit, Maruki was talking about this exact situation pretty much. Will changing her heart really help her though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. It's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Yeah, because I, I don't know if this is like a corrupted desire, really. Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that going to be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. Oh. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Morgana? Where's Morgana? <laughs> she got left at Morgana got left at the house, didn't he? I haven't seen him for some time. So ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. The trains are going to be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh yeah, the assembly. Oh right, the urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjed called out the Phantom Thieves. So they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace, even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> Morgana was there! <laughs> Where'd Morgana go? I'll just add this. <laughs> Alright, well... I think... That's a... <laughs> I think that's a good place to stop. Um... Wow. <laughs> That, that was a lot in, in that, um... 
<laughs> like a dream desktop set. Really does. Oh my God. Yeah, a lot of really juicy exposition this time. I'm excited to see where this goes. And also, Akechi, I'm pretty sure, knows ex exactly who the fuck we are. They're like, bruh. That's it. You already heard my spiel. I love you guys, and I hope you have a good night. Bye! <laughs>